everybody, how's it going? Steve here, and today I'm taking a look at Beyond Galaxy Land. Uh, this video is sponsored by its publisher, United Label. Uh, when they approached me to do a video on this game, uh, I did what most people do when they see a game that they haven't heard of before, and I looked up reviews. Uh, our pals at Nintendo Life gave this game a 9 out of 10 on the Switch, which is pretty high praise, so I decided that I would do the video based solely on that. Uh, I've played a little bit of the game to get an idea for what it is and how it handles. It is a 2.5D RPG. Uh, it's basically kind of like pixelated graphics with a modern presentation. I really dig the art style. I think you will too. Uh, but if for some reason you just want to jump straight to the part where you pick up the game and try it for yourself, you can head to the link in the description where we have uh, a way for you to pick up the game and support GVG at the same time. Uh, thanks again to United Label for sponsoring this video. Uh, but let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's start a new save. All right, so here we are in the beginning of the game. I skipped the opening monologue for you so that you could see what the game looks like right from the get-go. There's about a 30 second to one minute monologue, and we open on this guy in a spaceship who is just kind of making his way in. I, I like the soundtrack, uh, but this is many, many years ago, according to that opening monologue that I skipped. And here we are making our way into port, I guess, or docking. Uh, we're jumping out of the ship here, and we've got control of this as-yet-unnamed character. In an as-yet-unknown location. This is one of the things I think is so cool about this game. It does not use autosave, so basically it's like old-school RPGs, where you have to find a save point uh, and use that. So I'm going to go ahead and just save real quick. Here we are going to face off in the combat tutorial. So one of my favorite things about this combat tutorial is that it turns out the combat system is actually not much unlike the uh, Mario RPGs. You have, a, you have to push buttons to do the most with your attacks. You also have to push a button to defend, which I find really interesting. Uh, I'm a big fan of more active battle systems in games like this uh, where I can just kind of have more control over the amount of damage I do. Of course, some attacks are unblockable, like this full auto, that if I had a party, it would hit every member, so it doesn't let me uh, block that. But attacks that target one person can be blocked. We've blocked every attack so far, which is nice. We landed the counter, and that took them both out. So now we're just sailing off and we zoom out. And I love this zoom out right here because it's such a cool way to kind of give a sense of the vastness of the world that you're in, even though we don't quite know where we are. So here we are in present day Earth with Doug and Rosie. Uh, Rosie is waiting outside while we go inside to get our pet Boom Boom. All right, so after a brief conversation with our parents, we're getting Boom Boom out of his cage. All right, we've got Boom Boom. And now as we come down back outside the house, we can see that Rosie is missing. And we've found her shoe. That's not good. So something's up. Ah, Boom Boom bit us and is running away. And we encounter this person. Yeah, you don't say that you don't feel well. You don't look well either. Oh! And his face, did he cough up something or did his face come off? And he's floating. That's, that's not good. I wonder what happens if I run towards him, though. It's telling me to run. Oh. Oh! I'm dead! Okay, and this time, we're going to actually run. 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 Nope, nope, nope. 
Nope. God, I don't like being chased by things in games like this. He's getting closer. I... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. All right. And we have escaped. I, I, no matter how many times that happens, I don't like it. And we've encountered a portal underground. And of course, Doug is going to reach out for it. And we go through... Oh, look at that. I love this effect because it reminds me so much of time travel in Chrono Trigger. Like this, this reminds me of when you step into a portal in Chrono Trigger. So I, I wonder if that was the inspiration here. It sure feels like it though. All right. So we found ourselves with Marty Bot and other bot on a planet called Dream Core after passing through the portal. And they're just explaining kind of the setup here. It's ruled by the queen and it's very futuristic looking. I don't know if this is the place that we saw earlier in the video or not. Um, but Doug and Marty Bot are about to embark on an adventure. But before we go on that adventure, we're reintroduced to Boom Boom, who Marty Bot and other bots say they have improved. He's bipedal now and wears clothes and seems sentient, which is a pretty huge change. So after some exposition, Marty Bot has joined me on the path to uh, get us off of this planet, Dream Core, and on to where they want us to be, a planet called Eros. And we are going to take this lift and make our way to Galactic Customs, where we will get it. And as we come down here, I love the shot of the city here. Just the world design is something I'm a big fan of. Uh, in this game. It's just really gorgeous. Also, we got a neat double jump. We're able to double jump now. So we're going to keep making our way on to the uh, exclamation point on the map. And so now we've hopped on our ship to get off of Dream Core and over to Eros, the planet where I guess we're being rehomed uh, to explain. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of ex an explainer on the lore while we make our way over to the planet. Ah, oh, this galaxy is really pretty. Uh, galaxy land specifically so uh, basically what we encountered was a human being afflicted with a disease that Marty Bot explains is called the end and the end is wiping out humanity uh, and basically we got lucky we stepped through the portal and got to galaxy land where we are being rehomed to preserve humanity and apparently we're not the only ones other humans have also made this journey uh, and they're trying to save some specimens of the human species, or at least that's what they're saying. Uh, Galaxy Land, they claim that it has planets tailored for all the people that they bring in. It sounds a bit like a zoo to me, but I'm not sure what to make of it. Also, this planet over here on the left is just horrifying. Like, who is that meant for? It's got a huge monster orbiting it. Uh, but we're not landing there, at least not yet. So here we are on Eros, and we need to find our way to Arcadia, which is about a mile away from where we are. And uh, Boom Boom has ran away with a gun. <laughs> so we're trying to find Boom Boom and uh, make our way to whatever the civilization on this planet is. Now we're trying to coax Boom Boom into putting down the gun, but there's something in the bushes. It looks like a tiny dinosaur. All right, and it looks like we're having kind of an extended battle tutorial here. Um, so let's see. I like that they have both a shortened and a, and a lengthy one. We're going to go for the lengthier one just to see. All right, we keep attacking and they are... All right, so there we go. We managed to make it through. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sounds like we've made the parent dinosaur angry. Yes, we should run. All right, it looks like we're escaping. Okay. 
And it looks like everything is still going here. We've got to use radar to find doorways. That's interesting. Lots of treasure around. We're making our way through to Arcadia. And there we go. We were able to initiate an attack. And now we can see it's HP. That's cool. Pokemon influence here as we create kind of like a, a drone that captures them in a ball. And so now we have a new summon, Baby Raptor. Aha, so a Baby Raptor is a red elemental and thus deals fire damage. All right, chalk up another easy win. This is getting simpler as we go on because we're getting stronger. We've got more combat abilities. These Baby Raptors don't stand a chance. There's a monster we can capture. Oh, I should have taken a photo. I forgot. Let's see. Can we just get it right off the bat because we damage it a little? Ha! We did! Nice. That was easy. So now let's use our new summon. Let's do a strong kick. Oh, look at that. And he comes out and just, whoa, kicks him. All right. <laughs> And that didn't cost me any AP. Interesting. And there we go. Long legs is down. I feel like we're really getting into the flow of the game here. Like it's getting simpler and simpler to traverse and to understand and to find things. I feel like we're getting really close to Arcadia. Oh, yep. As soon as I said it, we're here. And look at this. It's it's a pretty cool looking place. It's definitely like a got a kind of dystopian vibe. Like society was rebuilt uh, from the brink, right? Like a lot of deconstructed stuff, a lot of broken stuff. Uh, and it's hard to say because obviously Eros is not Earth. Um, but apparently they're they're aware of people coming from Dream Core, and they know what's going on here. So. This is interesting. Oh, and here we go. He's telling him he's doing well and he's not. That's sad. All right, so we've played for about a half hour now and obviously I haven't shown you all of that, but let's go ahead and, and wrap this up with some final thoughts. So after just over a half hour playing Beyond Galaxy Land, I can say that I kind of get the hype. It's a cool RPG. I like the 2.5D aesthetic. I like kind of the pixel voxel aesthetic of the game. And I dig the combat system. It's kind of like a hybrid of Mario RPG and Pokemon. And that's neat. There's a lot to like here. And I can understand why it reviewed as well as it did. Now, obviously, I haven't played it nearly long enough to give it a score. But what I can say is that it made a great first impression. And I hope that by watching this video, you were able to get a good impression off it too. Thanks again to United Label for sponsoring this video, for encouraging me to take a look at Beyond Galaxy Land, and by extension, to show it to you. If you want to pick up the game, again, you can do so at the link in the description. It's available now on PC, Switch, PlayStation, you name it, it's there. So go ahead and hit the link, support GVG, and pick up a great indie game at the same time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.